But if you look at worldwide uh, hunter-gatherer macronutrient estimates, 33% protein by calories. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you look at the past 60 years of the global obesity and diabetes epidemics, you, you see the protein uh, went from about 15% of calories down to about 12.5% of calories here in America. Um, if, you're, if you're trying to design the very best obesogenic rat chow you possibly can, you want protein down at about 10%. Um, percent of calories. If you look at the uh, National Weight Loss um, Registry, where people uh, lost weight and kept it off long term, uh, they've all gotten up to about 19 or 20 percent protein. Um, if you look at people who are just completely ripped and jacked, like all of your bodybuilders and your bikini models and your fitness models and your aesthetic athletes, they're all 30 percent or higher, you know, 30, 35, possibly 40. Um, if you look at the studies in the medical literature, um, the amount of ad lib calories people eat uh, is completely linear with protein percent, all the way from 10% up to about 50% protein, literally in a linear fashion, the higher the protein percent of your diet, the less calories you eat, full stop, and the lower, the more you eat, and it, there's this very linear range there. And we know that if you take a type two, uh, I'm sorry, if you take pre-diabetics and drag protein up to 30% of their calories, uh, you get a 100% reversal of pre-diabetes just on an ad-lib diet where you eat as much as you want. So I think you're, the average person who comes in to see me, their protein percent is like maybe 12% of calories. And I know eventually if I get them up to maybe 30%, they're going to be, they're going to go all the way to their ideal body weight and just stay there forever. So, so in my mind, the goal is to hit this 30% protein. Uh, well, what's 30% protein? Uh, if you just kill a cow and eat the whole thing, that's basically 30% protein by calories. Uh, egg is 30% protein by calories. Ribeye steak is 30% protein by calories. Um, all your meat is basically going to be a, at least 30% protein, if not much, 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 much higher. Uh, and so I think for the average person who walks in, though, I can't just say, okay, your whole diet now is just steak and eggs, right? I, I have to progressively overload them just like resistance training. So it's like, think about where you're at now on your protein percent, right? And then try to just incrementally raise it by taking all the foods you eat and substituting out something that's a little higher in protein percent. You know what I'm saying? Um, or if you're eating a meal, let's say you're having uh, a quarter of a chicken breast because you heard meat was bad. And then like a massive pile of potatoes and a massive pile of whatever, uh, some sort of starch. Uh, you just take the protein part and amp up the quantity and then shrink down the quantity of the other parts a little bit and you're just trying to uh, incrementally raise this protein percent and what will happen is you just automatically eat less calories and I think that's just a huge win but that's usually the approach with the average person who walks in.